Some archaeologists argue that the Taino bloodline no longer exists. I believe that too, and even mentioned it in my show, Land History for Morons. So Columbus enslaves all the Tainos until he exterminates them. And that, my lovely morons, is called the Caribbean Holocaust. And that is the end of the Tainos and their time on Earth. But here's the thing. Hola, qué placer, como esta? Hola. After my show, I got a letter from a woman who said, hold on a minute, she's Taino and very much alive. So I met with some members of her tribe to educate myself. Me alegro mucho que tomaste la invitación para que escuchara el, la historia real de nuestro pueblo. Ay, qué placer que me van a hablar de todo eso. Sí. Nosotros siempre cuando ¿verdad? hablamos sobre el asunto, nos gusta empezar con reivindicar que aquí nunca hubo conquista. No hubo Pueden, conquista. Jamás. No se puede conquistar lo que aún resiste. Historians in the PR government claim the Taino people have been conquered and wiped out. But Bibi Naniki and Pluma insist that that's a myth. Porque nosotros somos fantasmas, ¿verdad? Pues obviamente, si no estaríamos aquí dos fantasmas hablando, si hubiéramos estado extintos, y no estamos extintos. Entonces, es un total mito. Pues eso me alegra, saber que este pueblo vive. Yo soy indígena también, Muisca, es las tribus de, de Sudamérica. Ah, mira. Mira qué chévere. Can you tell us where exactly are we here? This is Caguana, one of our ceremonial centers, uh, that unfortunately we continue to struggle to be able to manage and caretake this space. The government has basically said it's theirs and there's no more native people here. So they are the ones to take care. They see this as a dead place. Those stones that you're gonna see are live beings. They're not just stones. You know, every part of this area is sacred. It's incredible, it's, it's the same fight of indigenous people all, over all up the and world. down north and south and Central America to protect their lands, mm -hmm. to get respect, to protect what was theirs and, and to get something back from what was stolen. So how many Taino are living and existing today? Smithsonian Magazine has reported that 61% of all Puerto Ricans have traced Taino DNA. But here's the thing, the Puerto Rican government does not recognize the existing members of the Taino community as an active tribe because the percentage of Taino DNA in their blood isn't high enough to qualify. Without representation and at the very least acknowledgement, what chance do the Taino people have of getting their ancestral lands like this one given back to them or protected? We fought really hard around the issue of the privatization of Caguana because we understood very clearly that it was a test. Let me calm down a second. Um, <clears throat> this illegal junta that's been imposed here by the United States would have decided to sell it off. Mm -hmm. Our sacred sites are not for sale. Right. Strong language and a sentiment shared by many other Puerto Ricans on the island as well. Bibi Naniki feels that the U.S. involvement in Puerto Rican politics has put Caguana at risk of being developed for commercial use. For decades, the Taino people of Puerto Rico have taken their fight around the world, asking for help from various organizations, including the UN. And while their voices have been heard, still no formal decisions have been made. Their hope is to be recognized as an official tribe. But how do you validate your existence? What evidence does the government need? Do you think the DNA test helps? Eso, para mí, es un machete doble filo. Right, I had, I had a feeling. Porque cuando tú te mezcles, te descertifican ah. como indígena. Y ahí, pues, entonces, claro. toman posesión de todo lo que habían claro, oído. Claro. Y también es un insulto. Mm, Nosotros sí. no somos animales. Claro. Para decir, yo tengo esta cantidad, esta cantidad, esta cantidad. Pues, ¿qué parte? ¿Qué parte de mi sangre es indígena? ¿Y qué parte de mi sangre es cáusica o lo que fuera? Mixed race people are one major side effect of colonization. And being Latino means that you are intrinsically of mixed blood. But who gets to decide how much of your DNA makes you part of any one community? If indigenous blood is measured as proof of tribal membership, then depending on who sets the standard, membership could also be denied. For Bibi Naniki and Pluma, measuring DNA alone is not as valuable as the stories and traditions passed down from their families. And the Caguana Ceremonial Center is a big part of that. In this space, they were taking different ceremonies. For example, today we want to do a wipeout. Yes, we invite you, right? Thank you, and we took it very seriously. Thank you. Thank you. 
Surrounded by their ancestors, this traditional ceremony is meant to bond our relationship as friends by making me a part of the community, an extended family member. As the Guaitiao, or oath exchange, began, I felt instantly transported. With each gust of cleansing smoke, I felt a deeper connection to this place and its people. Aún aquí estamos nosotros aquí después de tanto tiempo de resistencia. Al elemento tierra, el elemento fuego, el elemento agua y el elemento aire. Now you are up and we are you.